Hello students, welcome to a lesson through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher and in this lockdown period since we are not able to go to school children, we will be doing many lessons here online through the virtual class. So come on, let's proceed to our lesson for today. So come on children, let's go to a lesson in standard 4th subject uh, will be English and the lesson that we are going to do today is going to be a very interesting story. Now I will uh, tell you the whole story, I will show you the pictures of the entire story. I have taken a lot of effort to collect many beautiful pictures so that you can imagine, you can see the story in your minds. Okay. But at the end of the story, at the end of the lesson, I am going to ask you what you have learnt from the story. What are you taking away from the story? Okay. So, let us see what the story is. So, the story is the story of the ugly duckling. It is lesson number 19 in your English textbooks. And this story is going to teach us a lot of things about how we should live our lives. Okay, children? So, come on. Let us start. So, this is the story of the ugly duckling. Now, you know what a duckling is? A baby duck is called as a duckling. Now, a duck is an animal which looks somewhat like the hen. But, Ducks can swim in water. Okay, ducks are a kind of water birds, and the babies of the ducks are called as ducklings. So you can see here the ducklings almost look like the baby chicks, that is, the babies of the hens, isn't it? In this lesson, there is also an interesting exercise where we are going to look at the young ones of many small, small, small animals. Okay, so there was this mother duck or mama duck and she had six baby ducklings. Now, you know how these ducklings are born? The mother duck, she lays eggs. Alright, and just like the hen lays eggs and then after some time, these hens or these uh, eggs, they start cracking and the ducklings come out of the eggs. So, this mama duck, she also had laid many eggs. Okay. And from the eggs came out seven small, 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 small ducklings. Can you see here? Now, mama duck was really proud of all her ducklings. They were Six beautiful yellow color, cute and pretty ducklings. But there was one duckling which was a little different from the others. Can you see this? So, this duckling, it was not very cute and beautiful. Look at the other ducklings. They are all yellow with nice beautiful beaks and they are so cute. But look at this the seventh one, it is a little grey in colour and it is a little bigger in size. So, this mother duck used to look at it and wonder, how come this one is not cute and beautiful? But remember children, a mother is a mother. So, the mother duck used to love the ugly duckling also very dearly. The mother duck, like it used to love the other ducklings, the beautiful ones, it used to in the same way love this ugly duckling also. Okay? It was a little different looking. It was not very beautiful. Alright? So, the mother duck, even then, it used to love the ugly duckling very much. As much as she loved the other cute and beautiful ducklings. But children, your mother loves you but everyone else do not love you like your mother loves you, isn't it? So now, the little ducklings would go for a swim every day to a nearby lake. I told you, you know, ducks are animals like hens, but they can swim well. 
so the mother duckling like your mother takes you to the garden or to the park to play in the same way the duck used to take the ducklings to a swim every day to a very beautiful nice lake very close to their house all of them used to go the ugly duckling also used to go with them but the other ducklings would run away from the ugly duckling see and they used to make fun of him also the six beautiful ducklings used to make fun of this ugly duckling and they would not allow the ugly duckling to play with them okay so see our poor ugly duckling is looking so sad isn't it they would laugh at him also and they would make fun of him also see how they are laughing very bad isn't it should you laugh like this at someone who doesn't look like you or who's a little different no you should never okay because the other person feels very sad isn't it you should not make fun of other friends of yours you should not make fun of cousins or your brother or your sister who doesn't look very nice who is not very fair okay you should not make fun of such people but here the ducks did not know about such things so the ducklings used to laugh and make fun of our poor ugly duckling there were other animals also around the lake which used to trouble the poor duckling so it was not only his own brothers and sisters but even other animals around the lake used to trouble him like anything but his mother used to always love him okay his mother never never troubled him she used to always love him but one day the ugly duckling got fed up of all this the ugly duckling started feeling very bad when the other brothers and sisters and friends everyone started making fun of him and he became so sad that the ugly duckling decided to leave the lake now he did not want to stay in that lake anymore so he decided that i am going to leave the lake and i am going to go far away from this place because in this place everyone is troubling me no one loves me except my mother so he starts walking away from his home can you see he is very sad imagine if someone tells you to go away from your home go away from your mummy you will feel very sad isn't it so in the same way a poor little duckling was feeling very sad but then even then he decided ki no i am going to go away from this place but do you think that the others that he met were kind to him children no they were not kind to him he was very scared also during the night time in the jungle he was alone see when you feel scared when you feel afraid you go and hold your mother you go and hold your father isn't it but our poor ugly duckling she it was alone it did not have its mamma near it or it did not have its papa near it so he was scared also and he was still worried because everyone was making fun of him see these birds are making fun of him na they saying you look strange you are ugly and they making fun of him they are teasing him so our poor ugly duckling was very very sad even though he was away from home you can see here the cat started scolding it the hen st- the cock started cold scolding it so everyone was making fun of him were make scolding him troubling him okay so our ugly duckling was still very very sad all right then one day when he was hiding so he was sad so what he started doing he started hiding here and there he started hiding from other animals because he knew that someone sees me they're going to make fun of me but one day when he was hiding among the reeds he saw a flock of graceful white swans swim past see you can see here the duckling saw some swans now the swans are also animals which live in water but they can fly the duck can also fly but not over long distances okay but the swans they can fly over long distances and they are very beautiful creatures 
they are very graceful creatures. So he saw these beautiful swans and he started thinking, Oh God, these swans are so beautiful but I am so ugly and again he started feeling pity on himself. Then what happened? The dark started growing bigger and bigger. See, slowly the dark starts growing bigger and bigger. Okay, in size. And he also became stronger. But he still hated to look at himself in the water. So whenever he used to look in the water, in the lake... It was like a mirror for him and he used to hate looking at himself because he was still, he thought, very ugly. Okay? Time passed and very soon it was winter and in winter in some places, children, it is very, very cold and there is ice all around. Even in India, if you go to places like Kashmir, you will see that those places are very cold during the winter and everywhere there is ice and there is nothing to eat. Okay, So, our poor duckling was very cold and very sad and miserable during winter. See, look at the expression on his face. See, he looks very, very sad, isn't it? After winter, the time passed and soon it was spring the season where there is uh, greenery all around when there are new leaves uh, new flowers new trees growing and then one morning when he flapped his wings he found out that he can fly and our duckling he has not realized that he has grown up he started flying in the sky okay and he rose high in the sky and he flew far and far and far away. He flew on and on till he found himself in a beautiful fragrant garden and a lake. So he came to a place where there was a beautiful garden and there was also a lake there very close to the garden. And he was very happy to see this place. He was, he was also very, very happy because he saw three beautiful white swans who were swimming over the water of the lake. Alright? Now again he saw the swans and he remembered that he had seen the swans long back also. And now he started thinking, oh my God, these are so beautiful and I am still so ugly. So what should I do? Should I go and talk to them? Or should I... Uh, become try to become friends with them will they also hate me will they also make fun of me so thinking about all these things he lowered his head and the moment he lowered his head he saw something else in the water see he saw the reflection of a very beautiful swan in the water and suddenly he realized that this is my own reflection so the ugly duckling had grown to become a beautiful swan. So it was not a duckling at all. Okay? It was by mistake. He was thinking that he was a duckling. But he was not a duckling. He was in fact a baby swan. And when he grew up, grew up, he became so beautiful that all the ducks started looking ugly in front of him. Okay? All the ducks who were laughing at him were now ugly and he was very very beautiful see he suddenly realized that I am so beautiful all right and he became very happy also see he became so happy that he started flapping his wings and he started dancing around in the water and very soon the other swans also came close to him and they welcomed him into their group and suddenly, the ugly duckling was very, very happy with his life and he started living happily in the lake. So, let's watch a small clip of how the swan is living very happily with all his friends, the other swans. Okay? <music>
little children did you see that how happy our ugly duckling has become after he's become a swan okay so i told you now that at towards the end of the lesson i'm going to ask you what you have learned from the story so children what is the one thing that we have learned from the story that you should never ever make fun of others okay someone might not look good someone might not be very fair to look at someone might not be very tall okay but in spite of all this you should never ever make fun of others you should never judge someone you should never think badly about someone just on the basis of how that person looks okay when you look at someone you feel oh he's not beautiful oh she is not very ugly she is very dark she is very fat you should never have such feelings you should first talk to the person you should try to understand what kind of a person that person is the second important thing that we learn is we should never think badly about ourselves the duckling was always sad because it looked bad do not ever think up like that okay if there is something if you feel that i don't look good doesn't matter that is how god has made us so we should try to focus on the things that we can do in a better way you might be a good sportsman you might not look good but you might play cricket very well you might be very good at your studies you might be very good at singing so think about the good things that you have rather than focusing on the wrong things okay so these are some things that we can learn from this lesson now you think again about the story or you can rewind the story and see the story again and think whether you can you have learned something else also apart from the things that i have told you so this is your assignment okay now let us move on in the lesson and let us look at some exercises which are there in the textbook so let us try to answer some questions now now i will show you the question children and like we always do you have to pause the video and try to figure out the answers yourself okay so here comes the first question why did the ugly duckling decide to leave the lake why did she decide to leave the lake why was the ugly duckling sad because the ugly duckling was feeling very lonely why it was feeling lonely because the other ducks were not ready to play with it they were making fun of it okay so he was very lonely he was very sad and he decided to leave the lake all right what about the second question what did he find wherever he tried to seek shelter so wherever he went what used to happen to him did people welcome him so think about it read the textbook and try to find out the answer to this and check with my answer so wherever the poor duckling tried to seek shelter what did he find he was always ridiculed ridiculed means people used to always make fun of him okay the smaller animals the smaller birds sometimes even human beings used to make fun of him see in this picture his own brothers and sisters are teasing him isn't it and in the other picture many other animals are also making fun of him so our poor duckling was always sad that is why he went away from his home but wherever he went he was still being troubled and made fun of what about the next question why was the ugly duff duckling afraid to look at his own reflection he did not want to see himself why because the duckling thought that he was very ugly okay so he never used to like to look at himself that is why he never tried to look into the water because he did not want to see himself he was he hated himself okay and then whom did he meet in the beautiful garden he met the beautiful white swans in the garden see beautiful swans na all of them were swimming and they were playing with each other and he was very happy to see them okay what about the last one was he happy in the end and which line tells you that he was happy yes the duckling was very very happy in the end we also saw a small clip where we saw him dancing and swimming and playing with his friends in the water and how do you know that he was happy because he curved his slender neck 
and he cried joyfully from the depth of his heart. See, he is happy na? Now you can see how happy he is? Yes. Now I told you we also have some more exercises where you are supposed to describe certain things. So we are supposed to describe a swan. Okay, so pause the video and try to write 3 to 5 lines on your own and check whether your answers match with mine. So what is a swan children? A swan is a kind of a water bird. It is a kind of a bird which lives in water. I told you a duck is also a water bird. Similarly, a swan is also a water bird. Swans have long elongated and curved necks. Elongated means long necks. See, the swan has got such a long neck. Na? And look at the next quality of a swan. There are seven species, seven types of swans in the world. Okay, swans can sleep on both land and water. Now I will show you a beautiful picture of a swan sleeping. See how cute it looks. Do you sleep like this? No, na? Because we don't have such long necks. We cannot keep our necks on our backs. Alright, but a swan has got long neck and it can keep its neck on its back. So it sleeps like this. Alright, and finally swans can fly also, okay? And it can fly very fast. It can, like a car goes fast, you know, on the road. In the same way, the swans can also fly very, very fast. See here, the swan flying. Fast. Alright. Now, there was this last exercise where I told you, we are going to look at very different types of animals and their young ones. So, the young one of a hen is called a chicken. See, the mama hen and all her chickens. What about the young one of a cat? It's called as a kitten. See here? The cat and its kitten. Let us read the next one. The dog's young one or the baby of the dog is called as the puppy. Okay? You're supposed to read this along with me. You know, don't have to just look at the picture. You're supposed to read the words also. What about the baby of a cow? It's called as a calf. See? And can you see how all the babies look just like their mothers? They are only smaller in size. Isn't it? The puppy looks like the dog. The calf looks like the cow. Okay? And then we have the sheep whose baby is called as the lamb. So... Let's look at the next animal. Then we have the duck, whose baby is called as the duckling. And then we have the goose, whose baby is called as the gosling. And the lion, whose baby is called as the cub. Okay? The deer, the young one of the deer is called the fawn. F-A-W-N, fawn. The young goat is called as the kid. But here you will see the goat has got horns but the kid does not have horns. When the kid grows up, na, that time those horns will come out of its head. Okay. And then we have the swan. And the baby of the swan is called as the signet. Alright children. So this was the story of the ugly duckling who was actually a swan. And I also told you what all things that we have learned from the story that we should remember in life and we should always think positively about ourselves. Alright, we also did a number of exercises in this lesson today. So, that was all for today. So children, wasn't that a wonderful video? And did you enjoy watching it? So, if you want to watch more such videos in future then please like this video and also subscribe to our channel the mcgm portal for education and also hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video here thank you so much for now let's meet again soon